Imagine an electric car battery that provides more than 300 miles of range, charges in only 10 minutes, requires no bulky heating and cooling systems, and maintains 80% of its charge capacity for up to 240,000 miles with minimal safety concerns. That is the promise of the solid-state car battery that automakers and manufacturers are racing to find. Now, Toyota plans to be the first company to sell an electric vehicle equipped with a solid-state battery, which they announced in early 2020. But can it compete with the top-selling Tesla models? Before we continue, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoy the video. Fuel Cell Electric Vehicle Debut Toyota, in partnership with Panasonic, currently has more than a thousand patents, all covering solid-state batteries. Currently, Toyota does not offer a fully battery-powered vehicle in the United States. It hasn't offered any new one since the 2012-2014 RAV4 EV. But it is about to launch an update with the hydrogen fuel cell-powered Mirai. Though there aren't any pure, all-electric Toyota cars for sale on the US market today, there are many regular hybrids. For example, the Toyota RAV4 and Prius series offer a hybrid between conventional machine and electric motor and battery to decrease fuel consumption. The only model that could be considered a fully electric Toyota vehicle would be the soon-to-come Mirai. The goal with the solid-state batteries is to achieve greater energy density with a longer lifespan and lower manufacturing costs. The vehicle is classified as a Fuel Cell Electric Vehicle, or FCEV for short. Its hydrogen on proton exchange membrane fuel cells convert water into electrons, allowing the electric motor to generate up to 153 horsepower. The outputs will be directed through a single-speed auto transmission to the front wheels. Toyota Beyond Zero Toyota announced its first battery electric SUV called BZ, which stands for Beyond Zero, earlier this month. Toyota has issued a line sketch that shows the car's basic profile and provided a few more details along with it. It is said to be around the same size as a RAV4 family SUV. And although the wheelbase is likely to be longer than the conventional vehicle, the front and rear overhang should be shorter. For the past few months, Toyota has spent much effort to register trademarks based on BZ series, everything from BZ1 to BZ5. Toyota calls its new EV platform ETNGA, which stands for Electric Toyota New Global Architecture. They say it's designed to support a wide range of vehicles. The base elements are front, center, and rear batteries and traction motors. Project Chief Engineer Koji Toyoshima said he wants a platform idea similar to a remote-controlled model car. On these model cars, you will have a different sized battery, motor, and chassis that can be combined into one. As a result, it could produce different types of vehicles, so the parts of the car are all produced as modules. The modular ETNGA system will cover a broad range of vehicle types from small through medium to large cars planned by Toyota. It also covers subsidiary brands or partners such as Daihatsu, Lexus, Subaru, and Suzuki. Toyota claims that this will allow different widths, lengths, wheelbases, and heights in their upcoming models. They also say that ETNGA can be fitted with front, rear, or four-wheel drive, and a range of battery and electric motor capacities. The battery capacity is said to range from 50 kilowatt hours to 100 kilowatt hours, with two possible traction motor sizes that output power from 80 to 150 kilowatts. As for pricing, Auto Express says Toyota confirms it will be just above the current price of the RAV4. As you may know, the RAV4 now is available with either hybrid or plug-in hybrid power. So, there will be a range of crossovers with stepped emissions and pricing combinations. Government Support Electric vehicles are anticipated to become common in households all across the globe as we continue to shift away from carbon. The Japanese government, along with many others, have been encouraging the domestic development of solid-state batteries. For now, most of the technology relating to electric automotive performance will depend on China if the status quo holds. Japan is even assembling a $19 billion fund to support decarbonization technology. A significant portion will be used to support the development of these solid-state batteries. 
in particular the procurement of lithium, of which global reserves are limited. At least two major Japanese mining and oil companies are building infrastructure for solid-state technology. They are Mitsui Kinzoku and Aidamitsu Kosan. Mitsui Kinzoku, also known as Mitsui Mining and Smelting, will build a pilot facility that will make electrolytes for solid-state batteries. The plan is to start production in 2021. Oil company Idamitsu Kosan is also installing solid electrolyte production equipment. Its Chiba Prefecture site is projecting to begin operations by 2021 as well. They will manufacture solid electrolytes that require solidifying sulfides. Japan is hoping for early advances in solid-state technology over China and South Korea. They expect it to give the lead in battery production, as those batteries are expected to perform better than existing lithium-ion batteries. The global market for next-generation batteries is expected to explode within the coming years, from $39 million this year to around $413 million in 2025. Then, after that, $3.1 billion in 2030 and $25.2 billion in 2035. What do you think about these electric cars? Do you think Toyota will stand a chance competing against Tesla? Let us know in the comments below. Also, remember to hit like and subscribe so you're always up to date with all our content.